Hurricane Debbie slams into Florida, 3,000 National Guard personnel on standby. Hurricane Debbie on Monday, August 5, made landfall on Florida's Gulf Coast, knocking out the power supply for hundreds of thousands of people. This comes as the U.S. Southeast braces for historic levels of rain and major flooding. Fueled by an unusually warm Gulf of Mexico, as per reports, Debbie barreled ashore in Florida's Big Bend region as a Category 1 hurricane, the lowest on a five stage scale. According to Tracker Power Outage. Us, already over 300,000 customers in the region have lost electricity. Talking to reporters on Monday, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said, we have seen significant storm surge, we have seen inundation, we have seen and will continue to see flooding in various parts of the state of Florida. He also warned about the risk of significant flooding events in the coming days. We have a lot of restoration personnel ready to go to get it back on, said DeSantis. Additionally, the Florida National Guard has been activated by DeSantis, and 3,000 service members have been put on standby for storm response. Life-threatening storm surges. The National Hurricane Center, NHE, has launched a warning against life-threatening storm surges along the Gulf Coast. Expected inundation levels may range from 6 to 10 feet, 1.8 to 3 meters, above ground. NHE warned that Hurricane Debbie might cause catastrophic flooding with potentially historic heavy rainfall as, over the next few days, the storm moves northeast across Georgia and North Carolina. Meanwhile, the storm is weakening. Its maximum sustained winds, which were 80 miles per hour, around 130 kilometers per hour, at landfall, have decreased to 75 miles per hour, over 120 kilometers per hour. The storm is expected to dump about 6 to 12 inches, 30.48 centimeters, of rain in parts of the U.S. state. Meanwhile, in coastal Georgia and South Carolina, the NHE said that Debbie can dump as much as 20, 50.8 centimeters, to 30 inches, 76.2 centimeters, of rainwater. Mandatory evacuations have been ordered for part of Citrus County, Florida as authorities predicted multiple days of possibly record-breaking rainfall and likely flash flooding. Eight other counties are under voluntary evacuation orders, reported local media. Meanwhile, State of emergency has been declared in Georgia and South Carolina by the state's governors.